In the aftermath of a powerful earthquake in central Japan, 92 lives are lost and 242 people remain missing. Two elderly women in Wazima were rescued after 72 hours, aided by a dedicated sniffer dog named Jennifer. Strict building codes helped mitigate damage, but challenges persist in Quake Hit, Ishikawa. Tragedy strikes Bangladesh as four carriages of the Benapol Express are set ablaze, resulting in four fatalities and numerous injuries. Authorities are investigating the circumstances surrounding this devastating incident. Over 76,000 people displaced in Lebanon during nearly three months of clashes along the border with Israel. The surge in violence, stemming from the Israel-Hamas conflict, continues with tit-for-tat exchanges between Israeli forces and Hezbollah. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrives in Turkey for a week-long diplomatic mission amid escalating tensions in the West Asia region. This marks Blinken's fourth crisis engagement in the area as he addresses pressing issues. McDonald's, the world's largest burger chain, acknowledges significant financial losses due to the international anti-Israel boycott movement. CEO Chris Kempczynski recognizes the impact on the company's bottom line amid scrutiny over ties to the Zionist regime during the Gaza Strip conflict. Iranians rally in Tehran against terrorism, condemning the Kerman attack and marking the fourth anniversary of Soleimani's death. The event becomes a powerful demonstration denouncing terrorism and honoring the memory of the fallen leader. Thank you for joining us and we will be back with more news as we conclude today's world headlines remember savor the gift of today and express gratitude.